Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take advantage of Opto22's free image library to create some custom dynamic graphics for use in your GrooveView HMI project. To keep this video short and sweet, I'm primarily gonna focus on using the image library. I'm gonna show you where to find it, how to use it, and how to create some custom graphics of your own. Now, if you're new to using GrooveView, you might want to check out some of our other videos in this series, including the GrooveView Quick Start Guide. For this project, I'm going to create a simple control diagram for a swimming pool. But since I don't have a swimming pool, I'm just going to use the built-in data simulator for all of my tags. Now, the first step in designing any control program is to sketch out your idea. So this is what I'm thinking. I want to have a pool with a skimmer line and a drain line going to a pump then from the pump to a filter, then into a heater, and then return back to the pool. I'd like to have the water pipes show as gray when the pump is off and blue when it is on. I'd also like the pipes to turn red when the heater is on. Now, before I head over to the image library, I want to make a list of all the graphics I'll need so I don't forget anything. So let's see here. It looks like I'm going to need a pool, a pump, a filter, and a heater. I'll also need four 90 degree elbows, a straight vertical pipe, a straight horizontal pipe, an upside down T connector, and I'll need something to show the water jets when the pump is on. I'm also going to need a button to turn on and off the pump and a switch to turn on and off the heater. Okay, now that I have my shopping list, let's head over to the image library. I'm using Chrome on a Mac, but of course you can use whatever system and modern web browser you like. To get to the image library, go to opto22.com and from the home page, hover over the support and go down to image library. Here you can find tons of great images for your next Groove project, totally free. Click on this button to see all the available images. You can further filter images by choosing editable SVGs, non-editable SVGs, animated GIFs, and PNGs. You can further filter by category, device, product, or art type. You can adjust the size of the preview image here. This tab has images of Opto22 products and logos. Next to that is where you can find editable SVG images that you can customize to give your project a unique look. Next up is where you can find animated GIFs to give your project a dynamic look. Over here is where you can create some custom buttons. And if you don't find what you're looking for, you can draw your own shapes here. You can click on this little checkbox to show instructions on how to use the library. And remember, if you ever need help, support is always free. You can chat with a real live Opto22 engineer by clicking on the chat icon down here. Or you can send an email to support at opto22.com. Or give us a call. We are continually adding new images to the library, so if you have some suggestions, drop us a line in the forums. Now first on my list is a swimming pool. Rather than scroll through all of these, I'll click on Text Search. Type in Pool. Here we go. I'll select it and download it. I have my browser set up to download to my desktop. You may have your browser set up differently. While I'm here, I also see the pool pump that I want to use. So I'll select that and hit download. Now for the filter. I'll go to the editable SVG images tab, scroll down to filter. Hmm, I think I'm gonna make this by combining a filter image like this one. Let's see, um, and this tank image. Here we go. Um, I'll download that. Perfect. Next up, the heater. This one will work great. I'll download that. Let's try to do something a little fancy here. I'd like to show a blue version of the heater when it's off and a red version for when it's turned on. I can do that by simply clicking on this red high contrast color scheme. That'll work but the flame doesn't really stand out. 
so I'm going to customize the colors here. To do that, I'll click down here where it says Get Colors from Image. That loads the colors used in this color scheme. It looks like the flame is using the light color. I'll change that from a light red to something that will stand out, more like a medium yellow. Nice, that looks hot. I'll change the name to Water Heater 2, On, and Download. OK, now for the pipes. Here we go. I'll grab a top left 90 degree elbow, but I want to show the pipes as gray when the pump is off and blue when the pump is on, and red when the heater is on. I can do that by selecting one of these pre-designed high or low contrast color schemes. I'll start with the gray. Something like this. Change the name to something like 90TLG. I'll download that. And then I'll do the same for the others. I'm just going to fast forward through all this. OK. Then I'll go back and do the same for the blue and red pipes. Again, I'll just fast forward to save time. Now for the pump, I want to show an animation for when the pump is on and running. So now, I'm going to go over here to the GIF Animations tab, scroll down to the pump section. Here we go. First, I'll grab the still version of this impeller. Right click to save to my desktop. Then I'll grab the fast version. Right click to save to my desktop. OK, next on my list. I need an on off switch for the pump and another one for the heater. I'll go back to the editable SVG images, then switch. I'm a big fan of the rocker switch for the pump, so I'll use that. To make the on position, I'll need to create some custom colors. So I'll hit Get Colors from Image. For the light color, I'll use a bright green. And for the dark, a dark red. I'll hit Apply Colors. I'll name that Rocker On. And Download. For the off position, I'll get those colors, change the light to bright red, and the dark to dark green, apply. I'll name that rocker off, and download. For the heater, I like the look of these round knobs. I like the color, so nothing to change there. Download. Same for the off position. But these knobs won't really work as buttons, so I'm going to create some custom ones. To do that, I'll go to the Button Editor tab. Here is where you can make your own custom buttons. I want these to be round buttons, so I'll select the oval, change the ratio to be 1 to 1, for when the on position is selected, I'll make this a bright red, so I'll select solid color, then a red. Nice. Now let's add some text. Over here in the button text section, I'll change that text to on. I'll change the font to Arial Black. And I'll bump up the font to 22, because why not? 
I'll name it custom on. Then I'll make another version for when the heater is in the off position. I'll change the fill to blue, and I'll change the text to off. I'll change the name to custom off and download. Next on my list is the graphics for the water jets for when the pump is running. I'll go back to the GIF animations tab, scroll down to wave, I'll download this one. That should do it. Now we are ready to head back over to Groove View. I'm already logged into Groove Manage and I've opened Groove View. First, I'll need to create a category. I'll call that Pool. Then I'll make a new page. I'll call it Pool Control. To keep things moving along, I'm not going to design a handheld page. Just a desktop view will be fine for this demo. Then I'm going to need to grab all of the images and load them into the Groove View library. So I'll click on Configure, Image Library. OK, there they all are. I'll close this up. So I think I will start by going to the Gadgets tab, grabbing an image gadget. I'll go to the Image Properties over here, click on the Image icon. That opens the Image Library. Scroll down, here's that pool image. To keep things moving along, I'm just going to fast forward here while I bring in the rest of the images and lay out my HMI. Now, if you're new to GrooveView, be sure to check out our other videos in this series. OK, I think that should do it. Let's save this and switch to Groove View and try it out. Nice. When the pump is switched off, the impellers in the pump are still. And the water pipes turn gray. When the pump is on, the impellers start up and the water pipes turn blue. Now, when I turn on the heater, the knob turns, the heater turns red, and the pipes after the heater also turn red. So this is just a real quick example of how you can use the image library to make an outstanding HMI. I encourage you to play around with some of these images for use in your project. And be sure to join the forums and let us know how you use the image library. Get some inspiration from other Groove users and share what you've been working on. We'd love to see some of the amazing screens you've created. And don't forget to keep checking back because we're always adding new content and features. Have fun guys.